<laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. Hey guys, I want to show you how to make background stuff papers. The video quality is not the greatest, neither are my editing skills, so sorry for the bad images and details, but I'm just a beginner guys. But thank you for watching anyway and being here for me. So this is the stuff, the papers I need and an onion. I don't know what I'm doing with my fingers exactly. I guess this is just me being shy. But do not mind the hand. <laughs> so I use red and yellow because the green peppers do not taste the greatest, I guess. I put some rice in a cup of water. I'm gonna need salt and pepper, one egg, one big onion and a mixture of beef and turkey in a bowl for the filling of the peppers. This is the peppers I was previously showing you. And this is all I need for the feelings of the papers. This is how my meat looks mixed together. It gives a different taste adding two kinds of meats. I'm gonna fry my onion in olive oil and this is me showing you my cooking skills, showing off. <laughs> and then in the meantime, I'm gonna add some salt, a pinch, actually a bit more, okay, yeah, just salt, <laughs> some pepper, and then I'm gonna add the rice water in my onions, and then, as you can already imagine, I'm gonna mix them together until the onion and the rice become just as one, you know? I'm gonna give it a nice stir. And guys, it just smells so great already. This is once again me showing my skills. And I added some tomato puree, which I'm gonna mix again, so I incorporate it with the onion and the rice. And it's gonna give a reddish color, just like this. Look how nice it looks, guys. Look at that. And then I added the egg on my meat and the salt and peppers I previously showed you. And then I'm going to wait for my onions to cool down so I can add it on top of the meat. And now it did. So I'm going to mix everything all together until they're like one. <laughs> this is it mixed together, guys. This is the filling for the peppers that I'm going to use. And now that is already a knife. This is how it looks, all mixed up together. I'm filling all my peppers in and then I'm putting them in a big container so they can have space, you know. And I took a paper, I'm going to take some fillings and I'm going to make sure it gets everywhere, every little corner. You know, guys, the more meat the paper has, the better it is, let's be honest. You don't want to miss no spots. You want to get it all in and all nice and all neat. Well, I wasn't as neat. I got shy because I remember I was filming for you guys. And, you know, camera shy. But whatever. Trying to be as neat as possible. You want to get it everywhere and make it neat. Yeah, I used a bit too much. I had to get some off. And then I'm going to use the pepper lid. <laughs> and then, so everything can chill together nice. And I'm going to put it next to the others. And I'm going to make like this still, the already. And then I'm going to pour some water. I'm not going to put directly into them because I don't want them to get messed up. Just in the gaps that I have. I'm trying to fill all of them in until at the top, but I'm not trying to exceed them. 
this is them boiling guys i've used some tomato puree so they get nice and red this is them 30 minutes later and i had some green ingredients this is optional guys i love it personally but if you don't do not use it and then it's ready to enjoy this is the final result thank you for watching guys and thank you once again for being here with me despite my bad editing skills see you in